train station this way. Welcome to the Capperton train station. Railroad strike of 1877. I'll just read a little bit, but you guys can pause and read the rest. On July 16, 1877, workers of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad went on strike and closed this railroad yard to protest a cut in wages. Their actions sparked the largest nationwide strike the country has seen. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler, and it's train time. I'm in Martinsburg, West Virginia at the Amtrak station. I don't think there's any Amtraks running today, but there's a CSX coal train coming. While we wait on another train, uh, you guys might be asking what are these buildings behind us, but it's the Martinsburg Roundhouse and it's on 100 Liberty Street in Martinsburg, West Virginia. The center includes 13 acres with three B&O Railroad shop buildings. The main attraction is the completely enclosed 1866 cast iron frame roundhouse. The B&O Railroad shops operated until 1888. This site was actively early in the Civil War and was the site of the first national labor strike back in 1877. Of course, right now it's closed, but uh, you can check on their website. Just go to the Martinsburg Roundhouse and you get all the information. Thank you. 
Well, that was my first time visiting Martinsburg, West Virginia, a really nice area. Very nice train station. Then you had the glass walkway that crossed the tracks over here to the other side where all these buildings are at in the roundhouse. They opened, uh, I think, the end of March, so I'll probably come back maybe in the summertime and uh, tour that. Uh, we saw two long trains, that coal train and then that last auto rack train, which was pretty cool. And uh, I think that's going to do it from here. And on that note, travelers saying, see you by the rails.